Hi, Jack. Nice to meet you. Nice work. I'm good. Yeah. How are you? I'm good. Yeah. yeah. It's a big operation this one. Yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just in my brief like research for the film, I just found that you were brought on before the screenwriter for the film and like the original deal of it. And I was just wondering, at what basis of the story did they had when you kind of came on board for the project? When I came on board, the basic the basis was really the 2013 video game. Mm -hmm. There was something about the authenticity and the grittiness of that game that we really wanted to try to translate onto this big screen, the new origin story of Lara Croft. Mm -hmm. And it is actually for like video games. I think it's one of the closest translations straight from the video game to the actual film. And was that something that you were intentionally trying to make it as close as possible, whereas other films kind of try to change quite a lot then? Not really. We were <laughs> heavily inspired by the game, but we wanted to create our own story. Uh, and I think, yeah, games and movies are different mediums that need different things. And uh, we wanted to make a Lara Croft for the big screen that was relatable and vulnerable, but um, always kind of fighting the good fight. Mm. And so what was the most challenging thing, switching from one meeting to the other, translating it and adapting it? I think when you create a movie, you have to just put, it, it, either if it's a novel or a video game or a uh, comic or whatever you're adapting, you have to kind of put it aside and then try to look at uh, the story with fresh eyes and try to create the perfect story for the medium you're creating uh, your story in. We wanted to make a movie that, although it could be enjoyed by fans, would also appeal to people that don't have any knowledge of Lara Croft uh, or Tomb Raider from before. And we wanted to make a new origin story for the big screen and uh, create our kind of Lara Croft for that. And so what would you say was the, the hardest scene to plan out of the film and the hardest scene to shoot of the film? Well, when we have big action scenes like we have, we have Lara going through the river into a uh, old Japanese bomber and down a parachute. We have her in the shipwreck sequence. Uh, and there's a lot of moving parts to all those scenes and uh, a lot of uh, planning for each shot to be as impactful as possible, but also to make it safe for the actors. We wanted to have an authentic feel to this movie, so we wanted to do as much as possible in camera with our actors, and Alicia was really up for that. I wanted to also ask, how did you find the jump from to English language directing for, for your first film in English language? It, what was it that you found different from the change in language? I didn't really feel that much difference in that. It's about <laughs> creating emotions for mm. the camera, and I think that's something that's not linked to any language. Also, Alicia and I, being both Scandinavian, we can mm. speak our own language <laughs> together, uh, which was pretty nice. No one else would understand, but that's good. we yeah. would get uh, our points through to each other. Did that happen often on set? Yeah, sometimes yeah. we would go off in Swedish and Norwegian, and then people would be standing around well, scratching their heads. <laughs> what are they talking about? Yeah. Great, well, thank you very much for all your time. Thank you. Nice talk to you. Thank you too.